Howdy, y'all. I want to make a video about my rig this time. This is Roger's Dream Journey 2022. So we're going to start with Roger right here. This is the Roger Jake hat. Roger's got a front row seat so we can see all the action as we ride. It's kind of held in place by the, uh, the odometer there, but the, the magnet fell off at some point. So there's a little sensor here. So I, I need to get a magnet and then it'll work again. But <laughs> uh, the two front bags are my food bags. Um, now that one's pretty special. My brother Noah gave me that one and I've had it since the very beginning. There's more than 12,000 miles on that bag. And then I was riding around um, my hometown, Guilford, with it. So hundreds more. I, I don't know. Um, by the way, I'm here in uh, Wachita. Wajita. I don't know how to pronounce it. Wichita, Kansas. Kind of the heart of Kansas. I'm on my way downtown. There's this nice bike path that goes all the way to the center of town. Um, center, center city. I don't know what's going on over there, though, but there's this cool um, thing here with uh, famous people of the town. And then over there, there's uh, about prolific African-American individuals and, uh, and their achievements. I was reading reading that and very inspiring. I'm trying to be the best me I can be and that's why it's one of the reasons I'm out here. It's one of the things my journey was all about, among other things. Um, other food bag, a little more easy access because it can just kind of like strap and put stuff in there. So get hot, take my jacket off. I don't need to figure out that stuff. I can just kind of slip it in there, find a random thing on the ground and like it's actually a flag, like, oh, there's this flag I'll put in here. It's one of those prisoner of war flags. Um, and that doesn't belong on the ground, you know, so do my civic duty. And my uncle, Paul, brought me, uh, got me this flashlight, and it works very well. So I have been riding in the dark for a long time. <laughs> so now I have a flash. I found this on the ground. It's a nice rug. It's just on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Very cool, I got some tarps. Um, I left in February, so I was ready for the cold. I just had a normal sleeping bag. I didn't get a thermal one. Um, so I had to bring extra stuff. I got extra blanket, another blanket. Um, I just found this towel. I'm gonna give it away to someone downtown. Now that's also what this bag is. This black bag is an extra bag, not usually hanging there. It's filled with some food that someone gave me, mostly meat. I'm gonna pass it on to people in need on the street. Got my camera, so I'm using right here. And um, I can just kind of reach back from my from my uh, seat and just lift it out. Um, I have these extra coats, um, sweater, the hoodie, my Phoenix coat, thick and wool. There, there have been some cold nights and some cold rides, so I'm thankful I brought all these layers. I, I did a good job. I brought just enough. Um, scarf, wool scarf. This is a Shasta scarf. Got that when I climb Mount Shasta. Uh, I've been using this here in Kansas. This is for when I'm riding into the sun and or um, when it's windy. So that, that helps a lot. And they look cool too. I got those at an anime convention a long time ago. Um, this is my garbage bag. Garbage, recyclables, compost. I sort of sort it and it all just gets in there. And at some point I go through it and empty it out um, when I can. It's hard to find recyclables sometimes. Um, this is a dog leash that I bought um, to give to people if I saw that they had their dog on a very short leash or in like a very small cage in their yard. So I just, uh, that, that, that upsets me to see that. Um, so I bought a few of those and I passed them out um, put in people's mailboxes, which I learned is illegal for me to go into a mailbox. So I guess I gotta put on the outside with a little note telling them to take better care of their dogs. It's my brother's camelback. I found this cool hammer. Cool story to that. It's actually it's about helping dogs. Um, the pouch inside, uh, the straw broke, so I can't really use it right now, but there's other water bottles in there, so it's still kind of being used for that. Um, someone gave me this, so I have that on the back so people can see me, um, though I don't know where about that on the bike path right now. And my violin. Oh man, in here, right in here. I, jeez, wish I took it out for the video. I'm sure you'll see it later. Um, I just got a bow last night. I lost my bow at Eastwind. I forgot it. Um, so upset because, oh man, now I can't practice. Someone gave me a bow last night. So I have this like plastic sleeve to keep it safe in. And then it's uh, stuffed in this, um, what's that called again? Uh, the mat. 
So it's so that so that should keep it safe while traveling. And uh, yeah, I can keep practicing. I'm terrible on the violin, but I'm hoping to get better. I just I found this the other day. I'm going to give it to uh, my new friend who I'm about to meet. I have shelter tonight here in what 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 um, There's a storm coming, and I used warm showers to to find a host. Um, and I found this m nice mat, new condition. So I'm going to give it to him as a thank you. And I just found these shoes, and oh my gosh, these shoes. These are the shoes. These are the shoes. They must be the shoes. They look like they fit. I didn't try them on yet. They were on the side of the road. I call them the rising sun shoes. These are the shoes. I'm going to climb mountains in them. They're a gift from God. I'm so excited. This bag right here is a new bag that I got. Um, it's new. It's waterproof. Uh, my clothes are in there. My Chromebook is in there. Uh, the girlfriend bag is in there. A couple other random things. Toothbrush is in there. Um, the uh, the clothes stuff sack doubles as a pillow. So at night, when I lay all this stuff out for the bedding, um, then I uh, then I can access that and open it up. And then I that's when I need my toothbrush. And it um, it's been working pretty well. And then finally, the most epic bag underneath all these things hanging. <laughs> This is somehow relatively balanced. I'm somehow moving. <laughs> is this bag I got in Illinois? And just about everything else is in there. All the toiletries and the hygiene and the journal and electronics and my wallet and everything's organized in different Ziploc bags to help keep it dry. This bag isn't waterproof though. I'd have to be really out in it for it to get wet with all the stuff above it. And this is supposed to be like an easy access pocket, but. Well, this towel just wasn't in the way I could get to it. My harmonica is in there, hand sanitizer, floss stick, uh, lighter, just stuff like that I might just suddenly need, like just kind of get in there. See, there's a there's a hand sanitizer. Totally get that out. And um, and yeah, that's that's the rig for Roger's dream journey, 2022. Having a great time, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm eating so well. It feels so great, and I'm going to where I want to be. Um, yeah, yeah, we made we made a song. I'm gonna try to sing it. Ready, ready? Hey, hey, here we are. It's me and Roger. We're going real far. We're going to the place that we wanna be. And uh, when we get there, we hope to see a pretty lady <gasps> standing next to me. Hey, boop, ba doo, boop, ba doo, boop, ba doo. <laughs> so when I'm not listening to like chill synth as I ride, <laughs> that's what I'm saying to myself. Only got one flat so far. Uh, got through. It's been like three storms. Pulling out one of them, I guess. I don't know. Having a great time. Thanks again, everybody. Boom, 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 ba-doo.